My name is Mark Prausnitz. I'm a professor at Georgia Tech and we're here in my lab. We do research to develop better drug delivery systems, so that is to make it easier to take medications and in that way not only make the medications more effective, but make them more accessible to people who may not easily be able to find healthcare. So sometimes if your skin is red or itchy or needs some kind of a treatment, you can just rub an ointment or a cream on your skin and you're able to treat it. But some drugs aren't absorbed well into your skin and so then you have to do something like take a tablet or, or even have an injection. The reason why drugs aren't absorbed well into our body is because of a very thin outer layer called stratum corneum. It's thinner than a hair, but it's what keeps things outside of our body from being absorbed in. So our goal is to make some microscopic pores in that very thin barrier and in that way allow drugs to get into your body, but because they're microscopically small, we can make them in a way that doesn't hurt. Here are some of the star particles that we've developed for that purpose. Now they look big on the screen, but in fact these are microscopically small. And as a result, if you mix these star particles into a cream and rub it on the skin, you don't have any pain from it, but they are microscopically making pores in your skin that allow drugs to enter. The first step when we make star particles is to cut them out of a sheet of ceramic. To do that, we place this sheet into a laser cutter and then when you turn it on, a laser cuts out the shapes of the stars into this ceramic sheet. Once the star particle shapes have been cut into this ceramic sheet, we then need to fire it in a kiln. Just like if you're making any other kind of ceramic, you need to heat it up and cause the ceramic to become strong. Once the kiln has cooled down, we can take the star particles out and put them into a container where we can store them until we need to use them later. We don't use the star particles just by themselves. We want to mix them into a cream, a cream that might have some drug in it as well. We mix it in and as you can see, the star particles are disappearing into the cream so that when somebody uses it later, they don't know that those star particles are there, but they're doing their job. Once we have formulated the star particles in with a drug, it can then be applied to patients. So here we can see some star particle cream being applied to the skin here. And uh, it's very simple to apply, just a rubbing motion, very much like you would normally apply something to your skin. But there's a lot going on in there that you may not realize, and that is the star particles making micropores to allow the drug to be absorbed. Our research on the star particles is continuing. One of the things that we want to do is have ways to mass produce the star particles at lower cost. Another thing is to do more studies with the star particles to see if we can deliver drugs that would be able to help treat skin conditions.